The much-anticipated face-off between far-right candidate Marine Le Pen and French President Emmanuel Macron quickly delivered what French voters had been expecting. You are not going to make the salaries, Ms. Le Pen. And you won't make the bonuses either, Mr. Macron. No, but I am not saying that. I say I remove the changes on the employer's side, I remove the taxes. But you're trying to make the people believe that you are going to increase the salaries by 10%. I just say no, that's not true. Marine Le Pen and Emmanuel Macron clashed on virtually every topic proposed in the last debate ahead of the second round of the presidential vote on Sunday. A testimony of their profoundly different visions for France and beyond. Europe is not all or nothing. It is not we take everything and say nothing or we take nothing. I want to stay in the European Union. I want to change it profoundly to effectively bring about a European alliance of nations. Votre projet. Your project, when we put things back together brick by brick, is a product that does not speak of itself, but which consists of getting us out of Europe. It has a name, it's called the European Nations. If it's not the European Union, you leave the European Union, Miss Le Pen. Sorry to tell you, you can't decide to paint your walls on your own. But when you live in shared housing, you can't just say one day to the next, it's not shared housing anymore. It's just what you decide because your name is Miss Le Pen. And while many expected a déjà vu, Others saw differences in their candidates five years on. She's better than in 2017. Then she delivered a harsh performance. She was on the defensive. Today one can see she has matured. She reflects on her ideas. She speaks to the people. She thinks of the people. She thinks of the French and in priority of the French. All the contrary of what was done by Emmanuel Macron over the last five years. Purchasing power is currently the number one concern of French voters who, according to volunteers, are struggling, despite positive indicators, which could explain the subdued levels of interest in this race for president. People who live in precarious situations think above all of what they will eat, what they have at home, their purchasing power for tomorrow. The worry now is over obtaining oil, flour, sugar, that's the main thing. Both candidates have been trying to rally their camps and beyond by promising concrete changes in people's lives over the next five years. On Sunday, France will know which path its citizens will thread. But many here remain skeptical over who will be responsible for footing the bill of those changes. There's a phrase in Provençal that says quelqu'un pagara, which means who will pay. Miss Le Pen will propose something and we will have to go to the cashier. So in any case, quelqu'un pagara, someone will pay. Who? Us. Annelise Borges in Marseille, southern France, for Euronews.